Hello appraisers, this is Brandon with Spark for Appraisers. And in this Synapse Spotlight video, we're gonna be covering sessions. So right now you can see that I am in a session that I have named Sun Trails. So I'm in the results screen here. I can actually click where it says Sun Trails and I can change the name of the session to maybe my subject property address, whatever you want it to be. You could name it, maybe you wanna name it golf view if it's the session you use to golfies or something whatever you like to do you can name it right here by clicking that also i just want to show you that if you're on the screen where you load in data sets you can also do the same thing click it right here change it to whatever you want it to be and it will rename that session on the fly okay so let's go back to the screen we were just on now sessions are basically every time you go into use synapse and you're on that very first screen which i will show you right now your, we call it the entry screen. So when you're right here, when you click start session, it will immediately save that session into the Synapse database. So we will store everything we can about that session. And let me show you what that means. So I can go in here and say, okay, I want my lot size adjustment to be $2. I've worked around this. I've decided 65 for GLA. I've decided on 10,000 for full bath. Maybe I model full bath. And then I can go and pick anything else I want to do. I can constrain. So here, let's get rid of all these really high results and actually these as well. And let's say our half bath adjustment is going to be something like 3000, mark it done. And let's just say you accidentally close it out. Then I can go right back to Synapse. When I get to this entry screen, instead of starting a session, I can use an existing session. I go find the one I was just in, and we also have a timestamp on this session management screen where I can go in and say, okay, yep, that's the one. If I hover over how long ago it took place, it shows me the date and time. Sun Trails, that's the one I want. Then I can hover over this little arrow. It says load session. That's what I'm gonna do. And we call it restore session or load session. And now I'm right back to where I was. So every little click that I had done in that session of Synapse is saved and stored. The only exception to that would be if there was some internet connection problem, you lost internet or something, then that could cause your last click to not be stored because we wouldn't be able to know where you clicked, but that's pretty much it. Otherwise we save every single little thing you do and you don't have to worry about losing it if something goes wrong, or you just walk away from the computer for a day and come back and want to start up again, you can just restore your session and you're good to go. So now one last thing, let's go back into the session management screen. And remember, you can either get there by going to this screen and clicking use existing session, or if you're here or actually anywhere else, you can click the gear icon and click session management. So now I'm back here. And at this point, I can also change the name of my session by clicking edit here and change it to whatever I want it to be. I can favorite a session by clicking the heart icon here. And what that means is I can, in the future, you know, you might have a whole bunch of sessions, hundreds, maybe thousands of sessions. You can click show favorites only, and it will just show you those that you have favorited. That way you can narrow it down to whatever you want to search for. Also, if you want to, you can search right here by the name of the session. So I can search by sun trails. Just type in the first few letters and it pulls up my SunTrail session right there. Okay, we can delete a session. I can go in here and just click this. Yes, delete it. And now that one is gone. I can also restore it like I already showed you. And I can clone it. So if I want to use the SunTrails one, but it's, maybe it's for a different appraisal, I'm going to do things slightly differently, or maybe I just need to update the data sets or something, but I, otherwise I like this one, then I can go in here, hit clone session, it's going to make a brand new session, put me into that session, and it's called Sun Trails Clone. And of course, I can click here, change it to whatever I want it to be, and I'm ready to get going. Okay, that's it with session management. Thanks, everybody, for watching.